Hi, Kaylee Broadstreet here with Transworld Business. Uh, we are at day two of ASR, and I'm here with Dan Moylan, the show director. Uh, I'm going to talk to Dan a little bit today about what's going on in the show. How are things going so far? Going well. Yeah, I've you know, visited our key partners, brands, uh, Billabong, O'Neill, Volcom, uh, Vans, and uh, good reports, feedback so far. Um, we want to see how day two turns out. But if it turns out like day one did, I think we'll be really pleased. Cool. Well, we've been hearing a lot about, um, you know, changes with trade shows and, you know, the current um, economic climate, a lot of, like, talk about timing and that kind of stuff. And we learned at the um, press conference yesterday that all of the major brands are still really backing trade shows. They really think it's still a vital part of the industry. Um, can you speak to that a little bit? Sure can. You know, we've built these relationships and partnerships with these brands and the uh, SEMA, I asked, uh, the major non-endemics over the past 25, 30 years. And, you know, this is a partnership. I feel it's like a family. I come from 14 kids myself. So I just view this as a, a larger extended family and community. And uh, we work together to come up with new initiatives to, to make this a vital, I mean, it is a vital, but to keep it a vital, relevant uh, business platform for all these brands to succeed. And we're actually sitting in one of the initiatives right now. Uh, we wanted to create a central community lounge and we utilize our partners, Monster, SEMA, uh, Bra, and we came up with a beautiful lounge in the center of the show. It's a place where people can gather, have business meetings, relax, kick back, have a monster drink if they want, and then go on to their appointments. And as you see, you know, this is early in the morning and it's already full, so I think we accomplished that initiative right there. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely a cozy area. It's really cool. Well, talk a little bit about um, you guys have class at ASR this year, and it um, seems like that's getting traffic trafficked pretty well. Um, can you talk a little bit about um, what you're seeing in there as opposed to out here and maybe some of the changes that you might incorporate to ASR based on class? Sure can. We, look at, we view class as a nice addition to ASR. You know, this is our, this is our home, this is our core, our foundation of surf, skate, youth, um, action sports lifestyle and um, this is where the youth, the energy, this is where it's all about you know, ASR and you know, we've built that like I said over the past 30 years with all these partners and this is, our, this is what we do well and uh, we wanted to show that we could also do a show uh, that involves more fashion and uh, more boutique style of environment and um, want to incorporate, use that as a case study and incorporate some of the things we've done really well with turnkey booths um, central lounge features, uh, VIP treatment, incorporate that over into ASR. So ASR is always going to be our focus. The class is a really great addition and it has, we've executed pretty well so far what I've heard from the brands. You know, stop by Howe, Howe's booth, that was popping all day long yesterday. They were very happy. Ambition, another young, strong brand, had a great show. Um, Atwater, um, they're at ASR. Booked appointments all day long throughout the show, took care of their, their key business. And they had a, a small presence over at class, and they received a lot of crossover traffic from boutiques that they may have not ever seen at ASR before. So that really has helped us attract maybe an additional 200 to 250 boutique and uh, higher end, higher price point buyers that have, may have never been to ASR or have only been to ASR sporadically. So we want to continue uniting the action sports and the youth, the energy of ASR, what it is, with a unique show environment, a boutique environment, a class. So we've been hearing kind of from um, retailers and brands, there's a little bit more, it seems to be a little bit more optimism um, overall, like kind of turning the corner here with the whole economic um, climate. Um, can you talk about that a little bit, some of the things you're hearing? Definitely. You can just see it in the product. I mean, look at the product. It's bright, there's colors, it's vibrant, there's, there's energy coming from the product. And that the brands have taken that on to take some chances and all these brands are created by really creative entrepreneurs and really exceptional people and that comes through in their product they've taken chances it's colorful vibrant buyers are buying into that product that great product and uh, I think there's a definitely has turned a corner people are very happy and in, and on a lighter note you know you can see it last night at all the parties uh, you know they went from the show floor they bought all day they felt really you know, from our VIP program I think the buyers felt really special and uh, they are special. Um, we, you know, we like to treat them as you know celebrities that they are. And uh, I think they took that into the night. And it, all the events I went to, uh, whether it was the Billabong event or a Volcom Wahoo Sector Nine event, uh, Monster event, Electric event, uh, they're all immensely full of energy 
and uh, that's carried over to the show floor. And we just want to keep that going. I'm going to give hand massage to all the buyers so they can keep writing orders. So if any buyers are out there, take me up on that. I'll give you a hand massage, get that hand ready to write some orders today. But it's not all business here, obviously, at ASR. Um, you know, we had the Office Boys competition here yesterday. We're not only pros, but some of the office guys getting out there. Now, I, was I was walking past the billbong artist shaping, marring all the boards. Chad from Malachi hit me up. He's like, where are you at? He goes, the office boys is about to go down. He goes, we got the Manams here. <laughs> we got the, all the office guys, the warehouse guys, the sales reps, the old TMs. He goes, we're, we're going to break ourselves right now. And he goes, we heard that, you know, Dan Moylan will push Mongol and go through the barrel. And they had a wave barrel because they know my, surf, my background is surf. But I love skate. And, uh, you know, I'm not the greatest. I'll never, pretend, uh, never be a pretender. But, yeah, I went over there. I didn't actually get to shoot the barrel, but I'm going to try to do that today. But those guys... It was an amazing contest. They completely broke themselves. I don't know which I was more impressed with. Volcom, the best trick contest, or the whole Malachi crew, 686 sponsored it. The whole thing they had going on there. It was awesome.